Mark here from Blades and Bows. Um, got a video review for you today on this. It is the Jack Pike of England Bushcraft Knife. It's part of the Jack Pike Platinum range. Um, when I got this from knifewarehouse.co.uk, I'll put a link to the product in the description below the video. As you see, it comes in a nice presentation tin, which I shall open up now. There's the knife inside in the foam insert. Um, take the knife out, pop that to the side, and underneath the foam here, it's a bit tricky to get out. There we go, we've got the sheath. That goes with it. Now, once obviously once you've got the knife out and you start using it, chances are you're not going to keep it in this tin, so obviously that can come in handy for loads of other stuff. Um, keep whatever you want in there. So you can reuse a tin, which is great. Um, just go over the sheath quickly then. It's got an um, English oak camo pattern to it. It's made of nylon. Um, there's not a lot to it. Belt loop on the back. So you can hang that from your belt. And one popper button here, which obviously secures the, uh, the knife in place. Um, it's a sheath. It's basic, but well made. And it will do the job just fine. Um, obviously the knife fits in there. Secured like so. And there's a bit of movement there, but as you can see, it's not going to fall out. Um, the loop keeps it in there pretty securely. It's not going to fall out on you. Um, I really like the English oak pattern on the sheath. I think it's really well done. Um, something a little bit different really. It's not plain black nylon like you get with some knives. It's quite an interesting sheath to look at. But as I said, it's, it's reasonably basic. Not much to it, but it does the job. Moving on to the knife itself. This is straight out of the box, guys. Not sharpened at all. Um, I'll just run through the specifications of the knife, and then we'll do some cutting tests with it. The overall length of the of the knife, tip of the blade to the bottom of the handle there is just under eight inches. The blade itself is four inches. Um, it's made of 440 stainless steel, and as you can see, it's a full tang. Blade goes right through the handle. The handle is uh, two separate plastic panels there, secured by these two screws here. Um, English oak camo pattern on the handle again. And there's a lanyard hole there at the top. It feels good in the hand. It's nice to hold. The grip's quite ergonomic. Got a groove there, indentation for your finger, and a finger guard here, so you're not going to accidentally cut yourself on the blade. Um, feels like a good weight, and it feels very, very robust, and it uh, feels like a good bit of kit, to be honest. There's a Jack Pike logo there, if you can see that. In terms of how sharp it is, it feels feels very sharp. This is straight out of the box, I haven't sharpened it at all. It's got a hollow grind there on the blade, with a secondary bevel along the edge. So you can just about see there in the light. Uh, I'll weigh it now, because I don't know how much it weighs. So, um, get some scales in. Okay, so that's 186 grams that's coming in that, guys. So it's not, not too bad at all. That's about it, guys, for the specifications and features of the knife. Let's move on to some cutting. Hi, right, guys, as I said, straight out of the box, haven't sharpened it at all. Um, just see if it is sharp enough to shave with. Let's see if we can get any hairs off my arm there. Yeah, we are. It's not bad. Don't know if you can see on the camera there. A few hairs there have come off, so that's very, very sharp, guys. 
very sharp. That's good. Let's do a bit of a paper test. It's cutting through the paper pretty well. What we'll do is um, we'll go out into the garden. I've got some scrap bits of wood, some logs and things, and we'll see how it copes with a bit of batoning and um, some fine sort of cuts um, with the wood. So be so back guys, busy shortly. In the garden. There's the Jack Pike bushcraft knife. As I said, because it's full tang, we should be able to do some battening with that no problem. So that's what we'll try and do. Um, let's try this bit here, guys, to start off with. So that's quite a big piece actually to try and batten through for this knife, um, but it's done that no problem. Let's try and get some fine cuts with it. This would be excellent for feather sticks guys, this is very very easy. Excellent. slices, no problem at all. Guys, that still feels very, very sharp after that as well. It doesn't seem to have lost any sharpness. Oh, there we go. This Jack Pike Platinum Range Bushcraft knife um, is excellent value for money, guys. It's a good knife, easy to work with. Good materials, well made, just a solid bit of kit. And there's a link in the description to take you to knifewarehouse.co.uk where this product is listed. Great value for money, 
and um, I would highly recommend it for anyone who does uh, or is into their camping and bushcraft. Just needs a general purpose knife. 